Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this little series here of me learning Unreal. What I wanted to do going forward is, this, is to explain my process and what's going on in terms of everything that I'm building. First thing also what I'd like to clarify is that uh, there's no exact game plan when it comes to this. I'm just making this up as I go. And I think that's just a part of the fun of this, you know, just having things pop into my head and just making them reality and, fig and figuring it out in the process. So there will be a lot of stumbles and maybe a lot of revisions and whatnot, but I think it's all part of the journey and I just hope that you uh, will get enough watching this whole thing and learning something from it might yourself. Once the initial butterfly was built, um, I then decided to start uh, modularizing it, building sub functions and routines just to make the, uh, the butterfly more controllable. So I added like little functions like how uh, butterfly, uh, the flapping of the wings and uh, turbulence and uh, also movement functions that you'll see later on like orbiting and random movements. Once I got the initial base and the initial uh, motions of it flying, I was pretty satisfied with that point. And I decided to move forward and start making more adjustments. So I kept in mind how I was building this, that this will eventually become, these butterf this butterfly will actually be uh, NPC uh, assets. So it has to be built with that in mind so that it's very scalable and modular and co configur configurable. And like I mentioned before, one of those sub functions that I built were was an orbit function. What this does is that it allows the butterfly to orbit any point in the 3D space, just to kind of mimic a butterfly that's fo that's focused on a specific object and just idles around it and floats around it, and, you know, that kind of thing. It took me a while to figure it out. I had to do a lot of searching on the internet, uh, and forums and posts and all of that because it, I just, it, a lot of this stuff is really new to me. So I had to understand a whole lot of new concepts and things like that. But it was very, very interesting. It was a great learning experience to learn about uh, 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 axes, rotation axes and orientations and also these little, little handy tricks like debug lines that I can use to figure out what exactly is going on with the 3D points in space that I'm actually trying to use. So then once that was complete, I built another function which, which is, serves the purpose of allowing the butterflies to fly anywhere randomly in the 3D scene. Granted, within the parameters of, of uh, certain parameters. And what I've learned is it's, it was a great lesson for me because I've learned the, the concept of volume mesh, uh, sort of navigation meshes, and how uh, assets move in that space. And you'll probably see, um, I learned also that natively, uh, Unreal has these AI movement functions, and they're great for uh, assets and in, in, in AI. AI assets that are grounded. But I learned through this process that natively it doesn't work in a 3D space, meaning that for something so something like this that needs to fly in a Z axis, those native functions just don't work uh, in a 3D space like that. So making things fly required me to create customized uh, functions and blueprints. So after all of that trial and error, I finally settled on something that I was fairly satisfied with. And basically what that is, is uh, I was able to create the movement function, which will follow the player control or the actual player in the level. 
Because I settled on that because I figured if I could at least make it this far, I can then build that function even further in terms of just making the butterfly have the ability to go anywhere in the actual 3D space of the level. There was definitely a learning curve in all of this. I had to uh, discover and understand how a lot of game development works or interactive uh, environments work. There was a lot of stepping back and having to refine things and rethink uh, some of the things I was trying to do. But eventually I was able to just get a greater understanding of how uh, things like this will actually work and how 3D, especially in terms of how 3D space works in game development. That was very eye-opening. All of this was definitely a stepping stone moment for the next phase of this project, especially particularly for these butterflies in which I will then take all of these things that I've learned and all these functions and build from there, from this uh, general AI for these butterflies and their autonomous functions. I hope everyone watching got a little bit of something from this video. Uh, as, as I enjoyed it, I want to do more of it. And in order to do that, I want to try to grow this channel. So if you can help me by pressing that like button or better yet subscribing, it would help me a lot in growing all of this and continuing further with this project. And with that, I thank you for watching again and I will see you all very, very soon.